There has been another Inazuma 11 Victory Road Ambassador meeting. Basically where the level 5 ambassadors get told all the latest Inazuma 11 Victory Road news. And so that means we have another tweet to dissect and to, to learn the new information. This is coming from TV Pegachan, one of the level 5 ambassadors who are basically uh, content creators who level 5 have chosen to spread the gospel, spread their latest news across to, uh, to the masses. But anyway, let's dive in. This is going to be relating to the new update and um, to the beta, which we should be seeing late April, early May, adding like beta to the game, the character, um, adding beta to the beta and fixing a bunch of problems people have with the beta. So let's dissect. In Azuma 11 Heroes Victory Road latest information, the 19th of April ambassador meeting. Patch notes to be announced soon. The update content was not announced after the last meeting because further adjustments were required, so they're obviously still working on it. Uh, the lag is quite strong. I would say it's stronger than other games. Yep, I would agree, Pekachan. Update implemented in early May. Okay, so we are getting this this early May. Look, I told y'all, I told y'all, I said, late April, it is a facade. It doesn't exist. Don't believe the late April hype. And um, this is definitely happening early May. And there we go. Major changes from the last meeting. Okay, so there have been some big boy changes. Let's let's investigate. Story mode and theater mode added. So I'm assuming theater mode's watching the cutscenes. Obviously, story mode we know is chapter one. Disconnection, etc. If you can't play the game until the end, you can't earn experience points. So what I what I don't know though is if that because I swear last time they said that you now get you get experience points. If you are like the person who got disconnected on, if you get what I mean, like the person who disconnects doesn't get experience, the person who doesn't disconnect does get experience. I'm assuming that's what this means, but this is, I, I, Google Translate is failing me a little, but I'm assuming that this is the same thing as we previously had heard. I hope so. Number of focus wins added to interval screen. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. It just tells you how many focus battles you won. That's cute. Uh, offside now allowed. Bro, they've brought back offsides. Offsides are in the game. Let's go, finally, the meta of just whack the ball over the top to your striker has been defeated. They, they've fixed the game, they've done it. Uh, lucky Fever specifications, that's one of the tactics. Specifications changed, opponent um, hit rate, so I'm assuming hit rate is breach rate, is minus 10%, your own enthusiasm rate, so I'm assuming again, breach rate, plus 10%. Okay, so that fixes, that slightly changes your breach rate. Okay, that's fine. Hisatsu, I mean, hopefully there's some other fixes to breach as we go on, but we'll see. Hisatsus have been changed to reduce the opponent's keeper gorge by the same percent percentage as the remaining tension of the player gorge. Hisatsu, I'm assuming it will no longer result in instant death. So is this breach? So a breach has been changed to reduce the opponent's keeper gorge by the same percentage as the remaining tension of the player's gorge. I'm going to need to investigate this. We have swapped the Google Translate in Japanese to Google Translate in French. Thank you, Inazuma Frontier. Um, the breach will no longer allow you to score instantly. Instead, it will reduce the goalkeeper's gorge based on the remaining voltage. So I'm assuming voltage in this case being tension. So it sounds like, say, if you have a full tension bar, you'll reduce their, bre their keeper gorge by however much your tension gorge is, I guess. Okay. I, I'm a, I, okay, it's hard to know without actually seeing it in work action how this is going to work entirely, but from what I can tell, they've nerfed Breach. So praise the Lord, hallelujah, it's no longer an instant kill, and that's honestly all I needed to hear. Um, I'm going to run around the fields now screaming at the top of my lungs because they fixed Breach. Let's go. I'm so happy. Um, if your tension is, so okay, this is an example. If your tension is 40% and you shoot, if you get special attack breach, your opponent's KP will be reduced by 40%. So if you have a full tension bar, surely then that, no, but I guess you can't have a full tension bar. If, if the way they calculate, oh, I guess if you do a normal shot. Huh. So I guess breach still could be overpowered, but it's a lot harder to make overpowered. That makes sense. Added landing motion after special move activation. Landing motion. I have no idea what that means. So looking at Inazuma Frontier, I think it's just literally an animation after using a special technique. That makes sense. A uh, cross save is possible. Let's go. So I'm assuming a cross save being from like your Steam, PS5 one to your uh, Switch one, for instance. When spectating, you can check the opponent's tension gorge and bond power. Makes sense. You, I wish you could see your opponent's tension, but I guess it makes sense why you can't because then you would be able to tell exactly what they're going to do. I just wish the tension was like you got a number rather than just a bar. 
Like, I wish I could say, oh, I have 50 tension. 50% tension, so I know I can do this. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm still a bit unsure what I can actually do with my tension. Uh, when, uh, you can now control the goalkeeper. Baller. That sounds fun. Some player names are displayed above their uniform numbers. Okay, I like it. Uh, only the uniform for Victor Road will be added, and one limited uniform will be added in the update. Okay, I like that. We get some new new kits. That's great. Now everyone's going to use Rhymon. Ten types of goals performances. Nice. So goal celebrations, I'm assuming. Each personality we ran is selected from three types. Okay, so there's more goal celebrations. A bit more variety. This update does seem like they're adding like quite a bit of stuff, which is quite nice. Experience points in CPU matches are doubled. Let's go. Grinding is no longer a chore. Pass mode and kick mode switching function added. Okay, it makes sense. I say it makes sense. I'm not entirely sure what kick mode is. I assume that's the zone. So I assume that pass by Bayern says pass mode and kick mode switching. I'm assuming it's just easier to switch between being in a zone and not being in a zone, if you get what I mean. I'm assuming that's what that means. Improved ball moment, movement when a goal is scored. Okay, uh, uh, maybe that's just animations. New techniques that can be used by Beta and Beta have been added. Let's go! We got, a, we got some new Hizatsus confirmed for Beta. That's exciting. Second set of stamps added. Let's go! More stamps. Uh, other information, it's a secret whether in Azuma 11 events will be held offline or online. Well, I hope they're held online. I want to go, I want to take part in some of these events. Oh my god, imagine they're all offline and just in Japan. <laughs> that, that would be some expensive plane tickets I'm going to have to buy. But I like the sound of the majority of this. Um, it's hard to say anything for certain until we see it in action. But the fact that they are trying to fix breaches is wonderful news. And again, it just shows that Level 5 are willing to change. And willing to change some of the flaws of the beta. Which that to me is really, really exciting. Um, and it makes me excited for the, for the update. Early May. Let's go. You guys are excited. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be get you'll be able to tell exactly when that update comes out because I'll have multiple videos out the day of. But I'll see you then. Bye bye.